I find I am much less risk averse and more impulsive after my stroke than I was before. And now I have little issue having casual sex with strangers or sex workers. I recognise this as a risk to myself and I would like to know if there is psychological support to help me with this aspect of my stroke recovery. So interesting, the um, research on sexuality after brain injury more generally, so that, that there is a small percentage of people who have increased sex drive, whereas the majority of people that struggle with reduced sex drive uh, and lowered libido, but there's people who have increased sex drive that, that becomes more prominent in their lives. Um, but this person's question, I think there's a lot in there. There's um, vulnerability to exploitation, there's controlling impulses and urges of all kinds, you know, um, and I think having a conversation with a psychological therapist, a psychologist, is important. You know, um, if this person is, I'm not sure if this person is single or in a relationship, I'll say, but obviously casual sex, use of escorts has different implications if you're single versus in a relationship. Um, I mean, escorts is an interesting one because a lot of people um, following stroke under cancer brain injury um, find escorts to be a really important part of their lives. There are escorts who are specialised in working people with disabilities, for example. So it's about people's use of that and how they're using it and how safe they're keeping, um, making sure that they're in situations that they can control, they're not. Um, feeling vulnerable, think that they're not open to exploitation. Obviously, um, there's a money side to this as well. Is, is Are these experiences leading to someone um, spending a lot of money um, on a regular basis? And is that expenditure going out of control and having a, a negative financial impact in their lives? Um, I think, because there's a lot in there, a conversation with a psychological therapist and being brave and opening up saying, this is what I want to talk about. Um, and help disentangle some of the different issues so they can make supported and informed choices about the pros and cons of different aspects to uh, their lifestyle probably important.